Trauma doesn't just affect the individual, but their family as well. Today we're here with Dr. Tipton to discuss how families can best support themselves and their loved ones recovering from trauma. Dr. Tipton, thank you so much for being here. So how can trauma affect an entire family? It, it's very interesting because sometimes the way that trauma works is not anyone, people don't know that it's happened within the family system. And a lot of times the person who's been affected themselves has, becomes very adept quickly at distancing themselves from it so that they don't have to feel whatever mm -hmm. stress came along with it. So often it's a change in functioning or a shift in previous functioning. And this is where you'll see somebody who has done really well academically, and then all of a sudden you're gonna see a change where they're bringing home C's and D's, and they once were an A-B student. And one of the best things to do at that point is to mirror or point out that the change is occurring and ask if there's anything going on but recognize that you might not be the person that they want to talk to about this. And I think that can be really hard for families because most of us want to believe that if our kid or if our spouse went through something horrible that they would rely on us or they would come to us. And the truth is, that's not always the case. So sometimes the best thing to do is offer an option or an outlet for them to get support. Saying something like, look, I've noticed some things have changed and your behavior, your grades are going down. This is very unlike you. And it makes me wonder if something's happened. And so would it be okay if we talk about asking somebody to help us or brainstorm who you might want to talk to this to about this? In addition to offering that outlet or that availability to talk to someone else, what are some other things that families can do to really support their loved one who's recovering from trauma? I think one of the best things is to get some education for themselves, to understand the diagnosis, to understand some of the common behaviors. Frequently we'll see people come into treatment with multiple diagnoses, and that's mm -hmm. because the parents come in and they're literally just reporting everything that's been going on. And because they don't have that background or that idea that there was this traumatic event, that's all they know. But once they know that, they need to understand it. They need to understand what PTSD is versus complex PTSD. They, we need to understand what fight or flight or freeze are. And they also need to recognize that sometimes it's going to appear as though their loved one is overreacting to something. When in reality, and, and it's true probably, it is an overreaction. They may look dramatic or needy or manipulative, but the ma that, that's again a way of survival and a way of functioning as a result of these traumatic events. And so the best thing a family can member can do in that moment is align with the emotion and make sure that they know, look, I think that you're scared, I think you're sad, and, I, and don't get so caught up in the behaviors themselves. And why is it so important for family members themselves to seek support during this time? For what I just said, I mean, think about what you're going to do. You're going to go into the line of fire some days with someone and not even understand where it's coming from. And that can result in not only just challenges within the relationship itself, but also just in the way the narrative. We talked about the narrative that the patient or the client or the person who's experienced trauma um, has. But we start to create a narrative in response to trauma, and that's important for us to start to adjust or change before we're now in a situation where we're not re-traumatizing somebody, but maybe we're just aligning too much with the behaviors in the um, unhealthy coping than we should. Excellent. Dr. Tipton, thank you so much for being here to answer these questions for us. And if you or a loved one need help coping with trauma, or if you just want to learn more about it, you can visit Karen.org.